Hey everybody, Wally Wilson back here for another awesome episode of our intro to Photoshop class. Remember, this is the course designed for the uh, photographer learning Photoshop and really trying to hone some skills in. And I am super pumped about today's episode because today we are going to be talking about head swapping. Now, some of you guys might know what this is, some of you don't, some probably don't know a lot about it, but um, you, I know some of you have been there where we're out on a shoot and we got this great photo and someone isn't looking at our camera. Everything else lines up, the planets are aligned, but there's just that one rogue planet that isn't rocking, right? So... We are going to uh, go over on how to take care of that. So today we have a couple photos here. I did this little family shoot and we did uh, this cool little adorable photo of a little boy and, her, uh, and her sis his sister and the dog. And on this photo, he was like looking out into space, right? He's looking behind me at his mom, you know, and, and it's a great photo. We got Max, the dog. I don't really know if that's the dog's name. I'm just calling it Max. But we got Max here and we got the boy and the girl, but he's just not looking at us. And I love everything about this photo. So as long as you have another photo within, I would say, the same lighting and kind of same space, same focal length, we can usually head swap and salvage these photos, right? So I do have another photo photo. We're going to click up here on this other file. And now he is looking at the photo. The girl's just a little more crouched down. I don't really like this one, but I love his face react facial reaction here. Got a nice smile looking good. And he's right here next to the dog. So let's go ahead and uh, let's do a little head swap. We're going to head swap. We're going to take uh, his face from um, this photo here. And we are going to bring his actual whole head. We're going to take it in and we're going to bring it into this photo right here. So he's looking right at us. Okay. So first thing I want to do, I want to go over to the photo that um, I want to take the head from. All right. It's kind of sounds savage, but okay. So let's go over here to our toolbar and let's click on this lasso tool. Remember it's the first one and let's go over here and I'm going to zoom in so y'all can see what's going on here. So let's go ahead and when, when you're, when you're getting one of these heads and you want to swap around, don't be so, don't be so meticulous on your selection. I just go in here and I actually purposely select, uh, you know, a, a bunch of space. I don't just need the head. I'm going to even get collar in here, maybe a button and I'm going to get Max's fur in here and you can see I have a nice big selection. There is nothing uh, meticulous or, uh, you know, uh, fine about this uh, selection. Okay. Just a nice big chunk. So anyways, let's go over here to edit and we are going to go down to copy, which is going to make the selection and copy it. And let's go over to our photo that we want to bring the head in. All right. We're going to go up to edit and push, uh, and select paste. And that's just going to bring our head in here. You see that we just have this floating head, right? So let's go over to our layers pa uh, palette right here. And you're going to see that when we uh, copied that head and brought his head over here into Photoshop, into this file, it created its own layer, which is really nice, right? Because we wouldn't want to just put that on our background layer. We want to be able to tweak it, work with it on its own layer. All right. So let's select the move tool, which is up here. It's our first button. Looks like a bunch of um, little arrows pointing in every direction. Let's select that. And now we can move around, move this guy around. Okay. So I'm going to take this floating head and I'm going to actually go over here to our layers. Let's bring the opacity down so we can see what we're working with. And I'm also going to zoom in here. Okay. So let's go over here and let's line up our new heads with our old one here. So I like to go on, um, you know, eyes. So let's go up there. So this looks pretty good. I've lined up the eyes. You can uh, turn this layer off and on to kind of see how it's lining up, right? That looks pretty good. I dig it. Okay. So let's go ahead and activate that layer. I am going to just zoom out a tiny bit so you guys can see. Center this guy up right here. Okay. So um, I'm going to push the opacity all the way up. And now we have our head. So now what we need to do is we need a mask around this head to try to, to, to blend it into this photo, right? You know, since we have our selection line right here, it's a really hard line and this just wouldn't look good at all. So let's go over here to our head layer and click down here and we're going to create a mask around it. I want you guys to come over here to the toolbar, select the brush. Let's go up here to some brush options and 125 pixels will work and let's let's select like a 18% hardness that'll work 
All right, let's go over here to our head. I'm going to zoom in just a little more. And let's start painting. So you're going to see as we start painting, we're starting to uh, mask the head out. Now, when we do this, a lot of this is just discretionary on what looks good for your photo. So sometimes you might have to come down all the way and really scrape pixels in the hair, but this photo has such a nice uh, bokeh behind it that you know we can almost even blend this in. We might have some new hair kind of showing here, and then we're gonna go down here to max, and I'm gonna just um, completely uh, mask the new photo out since it's pretty close on where his head is right here. So you can see that looks pretty good. All right, so let's go over to the other side here and same thing, we're gonna kind of blend this down. We got a tree right here. I might even come in here and get some of this old head and bring this down here. All we're doing is masking out the head that we brought in, okay? So let's go in here, let's mask out. Now some of this part might be a little tricky, okay? So let's lower the brush. And this is one thing where you might just have to finesse this and see where, where you're at. So I'm gonna come down here. Okay, there's the original. You see the collars don't line up. So let's see if we can use the original collar and just mask out all this new stuff. Mask it out, mask it out. Good, I'm gonna use the original here. Let's keep masking. Great, and we're already gonna use this. We keep masking that out. Okay, so we are looking uh, pretty good here. I'm gonna just select that. So great, we're just missing a couple spots here and we're right here, we can mask that out and here. So let's go ahead and look at this. So this looks pretty good. Yeah, I like that, this looks good. Now if we even wanted to take it a step further, we could probably even mask a little more into his head here. Get some more, uh, you know, just, just if we wanted to, let's see. Bring him down and we could even use his original ear right there. All right, let's check this out. So that looks pretty good. So let's zoom out and see what we got. All right, yeah, this is a solid little shot. Um, you know, if someone was to look at this photo, they probably would never be able to tell that we brought in a different head. Uh, there's all different ways. Now, as long as you have the same lighting, I say you can do it. Now, sometimes a head swap might take five minutes like this one did. Sometimes it could take, you know, two hours if you have a gnarly one, you know. This one was fairly easy, and we're going to go over some harder ones uh, in our intermediate classes and maybe just some standalone uh, head swapping classes. But you guys get the just. You're going to select a head from another photo, bring it in. Sometimes you might even need to scale that head down, right? Maybe use the free transform tool and, you know, make the head a little smaller just so it's in proportion for the frame. If I was to have shot this and, uh, you know, my photo, which with the head that I like and then I was to step back like 10 feet and then take another photo it might have been a little smaller you also have to you know worry about you know how many pixels how big the head is so chances are you know when you're doing this you're probably posted up taking photos of like the kids you're at a same focal length with the same lens and you know that's one of those things where if you're taking photos of a family you know sometimes if I if I know that the family if it's gonna be kind of crazy and they got like a two-year-old and a four-year-old and a six-year-old and no one's paying attention I might even tripod up just to make it easier right for if so if, if undoubtedly if I do have some uh, head swaps I, my camera's not even moving. So just take some precautions, get uh, prepared if you know you're gonna have a headshot and you guys will be great. So, um, you know, I hope you guys have enjoyed this episode on uh, swapping out some heads. Remember the whole key is to make this look natural so no one would ever, ever even notice that you uh, move someone's head around, all right? So you guys, thanks for tuning in. We're gonna have a lot more great episodes coming up, but for now, thank you guys so much and keep playing with Photoshop.